Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball today with another Pokemon TCG Online video. And today I have for you guys Empoleon. This is a deck that we've seen less people play in competitive tournaments because of the rotation with Tropical Beach. But Empoleon here still has a very good ability in Diving Draw, especially when you can combine it with Execute. But anyways, once during your turn, before you attack, you can discard a card from your hand and you can draw two cards. Which is pretty slick because, you know, if you combine it with Execute, Execute here uh, can use Propagate. And if you discard it, you can always bring it back into your hand. So you get an infinite amount every time, every turn. You can always draw more cards. Attack Command is still a very good attack as well. It does 10 damage times the number of Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponent's. So that means if you have both full benches, it does 120 damage. Slap a Muscle Band, you're doing 140 damage. Pretty awesome. Um, but it does have a two retreat cost, which is pretty heavy, and that will come into play in a little bit more. And then we have Mr. Mime here with Bench Barrier, just to protect the bench. Uh, pretty good, because we got a lot of little prim, uh, Pip Plups and Prim Plups that aren't that powerful. If they keep getting hit from the bench, that really sucks. Uh, so we have uh, Dustnor here with Ability, Sinister to Hand. It's kind of the main partner with Empoleon, just to finish off opponents and making sure you get clean one-hit knockouts, right? Sinister to Hand, if you, you can move... Uh, one damage counter from your opponents uh, to one of your other opponent's Pokemon uh, once in your turn. So, well, actually, as often as you like. So, um, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, of course, I already mentioned Propagation with Execute. And last of all, the main partner here for the backup attacker is going to be Miltank, Powerful Friends. If you have a Stage 2 Pokemon, which includes Dustnor and uh, Empoleon, so you got two chances there, you can hit for 80 damage. There's 10 damage plus 70 more damage. And then you slap a Muscle Band, you're doing 100 damage. Pretty cool. As for the aspect of choice, we're going to go with Computer Search. This card, two cards from your hand. You can search for any card you want. And that makes it for a very consistent uh, deck. We have one escape rope, two max potions because we are very energy um, efficient both with Miltank and with Empoleon so we can just max potion things off and then just slap another energy on there. Four rare candies because we do play two um, uh, you know, we play two uh, stage two decks, which can be pretty heavy. Uh, one star on the megaphone, probably could play more if we run into Garbodor since we rely so much on, uh, you know, on uh, abilities. We only have one switch. Probably could play more since a lot of our Pokemon have heavy retreat costs, but you know, whatever. We only play three Ultra Balls. We don't play any Dive Balls because I figured we want this deck to be a little more fluid, a little more flexible, and that way instead of a Dive Ball being too much so a type specific uh, item, Ultra, Ultra Ball can help us out being able to get all the Pokemon since we play a different variety of different Pokemon. Uh, we have two VS Seekers to just get the uh, Supporters back into our hand. We got for a support line, Culverus, one of these. Two Lysanders, one Lysander Trump card, since we do dive and draw. And we tend to go through our deck pretty quick. We have three ends, uh, one Pokemon fan club, uh, two, no, one Fresher Birch substituting for that last end. We got four Juniper, one Skyla to round out our support line. And then for our stadium, we got two training centers just to boost up the Empoleon's HP to 170, which is pretty good. Three Muscle Band, as mentioned earlier. You can set those on. And then we have eight Water Energy. That rounds out our deck. Let's go ahead and see this match on Pokemon TCG online. Alright, looks like we're going against Mr. Trainer 313. Mr. Trainer's got the advantage here with with the, uh, ooh, the Mega Gengar, Mega Gengar Duck Sleeves. All right, so my opponent gets to choose to go first or second, most likely. Oh, wow, he has given us the opportunity to go first, and uh, I would gladly take it. Um, Miltank is definitely the choice oh, yeah. here. Uh, Dusknor, or Duskull, will be sitting on the bench uh, for the most part. Let's take a look at what my opponent plays. Oh, we don't know yet. All right, so we're just going to hang on to that. And we see a Phantom and an Eevee. Um, oh, boy. So I'm going to go ahead and end our turn, and uh, there we go. So, all right, so we're going we're gonna to keep it like this. What I'm going to do next turn is I'm going to play the computer search, get rid of this Dusk Skull, and the start of the Megaphone, or whatever else we draw. Get the Rare Candy, evolve into Dusk Noor, and then Juniper our hand away. So we're going to go with that, and that way Powerful Friends can start hitting knockouts, unless my opponent plays a uh, an Energy Year and, and does the uh, Energy Evolution. But otherwise, we will uh, probably get a knockout in the next turn if we can draw into an energy card. But assuming the Professor Juniper can get us something good, we will go with that. So good thing we don't have any energy in play. My opponent discards a Crushing Hammer and also a Skyla playing the Computer Search. Uh, not too sure what my opponent's going to be searching for. Could be an N. If he does play an N, that would be pretty devastating. I don't want to see an N right now. No, we see a Sycamore as we see another Crushing Hammer, an N, and a Lysander off of that. Wow, that is brutal. My opponent could have played the N 
Uh, but he he took a look at the scenario and noticed that I didn't play anything after I played my end besides playing a uh, a uh, pip plop onto my bench. So here we go. We get to see probably the psi alert, either that or a shadow ball, which can be pretty devastating. So right now, what we really need is an energy and a muscle band. If we do that, we can actually knock out this espion for a hundred damage. If not, we're just hitting it for 80, being 10 short. And you know what we say about being 10 short? That is a bummer. So wow, we get hit for 40 on the little pip plop here. And we get the energy. That's always good news there. We get to see the uh, computer search. Get rid of that. Let's go for the rare candy. We can evolve. And there we go. Evolve into the Dusknor. Play the Juniper. We even get another Primplup here. That's pretty cool. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to play the Max Potion. Try to conserve our Pokemon as much as we can. And uh, it's a shame we couldn't knock this guy out. But you know what? We can move damage counters next turn. To kind of move it onto the phantoms and whatnot, because those guys are going to be brutally annoying, uh, especially with uh, you know actually the Duskull is going to be really annoying too, moving da damage counters over and over again. So we probably want to get rid of that. We'll, we'll probably just move it, move it onto the Dusclops since it's pretty safe to say that the Dusclops should re really be a threat. But my opponent's got a choice right now. Um, my luckily my Dusknor isn't weak to Psychic, but he can attack for the two pim, pip plups here, uh, pip plups, or he can attack the Dusknor. So we see a Sigilyph here. Good thing we don't play any EXs. It doesn't really matter with the Sigilyph. Uh, but we will get rid of the Dusclops next turn, and if we can draw into a Muscle Band, we will get rid of the Espeon as well. So that's good news for us. Right now we're gonna have to wait and see if my opponent plays any more energy cards onto the side of the field. If not, then he's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be pretty tough for him to answer, right? So no, never mind. We see the mystery energy go on to the Gengar. We also see a VS Seeker probably going for the Professor Sycamore, and rightly so. We see a Sycamore. Luckily, we didn't see a Lysander. That'll be pretty devastating for us. But uh, my opponent here is able to play a Dimension Valley. Oh, nicely done. We can go second on the Stadium Battles. Oh, he gets a Crushing Hammer. Doesn't matter. We got an energy in our hand. That's okay with me. Right now, he already has one, two, three, three crushing hammers in the discard pile, so shouldn't worry too much about that. If he has another crushing hammer, hopefully it's in the prize card. If not, if it's in the deck, we just gotta cross our fingers and hope that it's a tails. So here we go. We even get the uh, the Empoleon into play. That is sweet. And uh, we'll go for this right here. We can definitely go for a powerful friends. Um, but you know we're gonna we're gonna juniper away our hand first. Let's go with this. We even get the muscle band. Oh, this is too good, way too good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the execute. We're gonna go ahead to Ivan draw. See how smooth this deck is. Oh, this deck is so slick. All right, so we're gonna go with a sinister hand, and we're just gonna get rid of this guy because uh, he's more of a threat. If he gets the uh, Dusknor out, that's gonna be devastating for us. Now the Phantoms and Fampies uh, can you know we can probably. Try to buy a time with that, but for now, uh, let's just get rid of the Dusk Lops. Look at that, perfect. Oh. Getting rid of that guy, and then we're going to get rid of the Espeon, just knocking it out straight up. Um, you know, since if my opponent does have the uh, Phantom into play, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and probably play the N. That's pretty good. Maybe N ourselves, I don't know. Um, but otherwise, we should probably play... Um, these item cards right now so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna get the Empoleon ready um, you know th that way we can evolve into Empoleon next turn so here we go we'll just hit it for a hundred knocking it out of the park and there we draw in a via seeker something that I don't actually want to see at this point because my opponent evolves into um, you know the, uh, the, the what is it the Trevenant then I can't play item cards anyway so uh, he does still have the dimension value out We've, we most likely can get hit for a dark quarter this turn Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so, so we get hit by a dark corridor. Um, we do have, we do have this uh, max potion here, uh, but it's kind of a risk, right? Because uh, we might not be able to draw into. All right, so there you go. That's the last crushing hammer. We don't have to worry about those anymore. One, two, three, four crushing hammers already gone. Unless my opponent plays a Lysander's trump card. He's down to 22 cards. We're down to 25. So we are on pace to actually probably deck out before him uh, if we keep getting these dive and draws going. So we see the poison damage. We see the, the uh, dark corridor here. Uh, not too worried about that. We have the Lysander here. We do have a max potion that we can heal off. Uh, we have to see what we can get from the uh, what we can top deck. Right? So if we can top deck an energy card, and we do, we top deck an energy card. Sweet. I'm just going to heal this off, play this here, 
We bring out this Gengar. Um, evolve here. Use abilities. Dive and draw. Dive and draw. Getting rid of the Execute. Wow, we even get another Dusknor. Let's go ahead. We're going to use the ability again and just dive and draw. Getting rid of this Execute again. We even get another Energy there. So we have two Energies there uh, in the discard, meaning uh, one here, so one in our hand. Uh, that's what, four left in the deck, unless we have all four here in the prize cards. That'd be pretty bad. Uh, so let's go ahead. We will attack and uh, just powerful friends. Oh, no. Why? Why? Oh, I should have played the VS Seeker for the Lysander. Now my opponent has a shot. If he top decked a Trevenant, no. I won't. Oh, why didn't I play the VS Seeker? Hopefully he doesn't evolve. All right, let's hope he doesn't evolve. Um, and uh, yeah, so even if he does evolve, right, we can just move the damage. We can hit the Trevenant, okay? We can hit the Trevenant, and then we just move the damage counters onto the, um, you know, onto the Gengar. So we can definitely do that. Oh man, dang it! Should I play? Oh no, he 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 plays a Skyla for a Via Seeker. That is most peculiar. Probably Via Seeker for the Colrus for the next turn. Uh, I'm. Okay, I'm a little bit hesitant to understand the strategy behind this. Um, maybe he maybe he wants to get the Lysander, right? So in the next turn, he can actually Lysander out uh, the Dusknor. So, um, yeah, part of me thinks, man, maybe I should have just did a Max Potion on to... I don't know. But doesn't matter. We, we, we even top deck a Lysander, so I'm just going to go ahead and get this one anyways. And, uh, yeah, let's get rid of this. We'll go with the Sinister Hand. My opponent, uh, I'm actually going to be doing 100 damage. So, uh, that's actually perfect, uh, I think. Wait, so I did 100 damage. He's got 80. So, we, we actually can can move 30 yeah. HP, 30 damage away. Yeah. And then I'll finish yeah. off with 100 yeah. damage. Yeah. So, right here, we got 100 to go. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'll play this here. Knowing that the mill tank probably will get knocked out. Let's go and use our abilities yeah. to dive and draw. Um, there we go. Get two more energies. Oh, boy. I actually forgot. Um, yeah, so let's just get rid of that. And we even get a little uh, uh, pip up here, so that's always great. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's go for the knockout. Knocking out this Gengar. My opponent can actually knock us out again. So we'll be down to 10 HP. Luckily, the mill tank survives the turn, so that's pretty cool. Um, there we go. We see the Gengar EX come out to play again, but doesn't matter. Our mill tank here can just kind of come back and uh, finish whatever he started. We can knock out both Phantoms here uh, by moving the damage counters around. So that would be the game. And uh, all right, so the Gengar EX can do a night attack if he doesn't have the energy drop. But I assume my opponent does have the energy drop. Um, very good chance that he has the energy drop. No, no, he opts to drop the energy. Never mind. Okay, knowing that, uh, it's probably not a good idea. Okay, he drops the energy on the Phantom. All right, we might see an Astonish here. Oh, we see a Float Stone. And then we see a Via Seeker. Uh, I'm assuming for either the Lysander or maybe an N. That would be pretty good. Uh, if he ends us, we can always get a couple more cards back with Execute and Dive and Draw. So, uh, Or we can see a Colrus. That's always an option as well. Uh, but this is the VS Seeker that my opponent played Skyla for last turn, right? So, um, we'll have to wait and see. And there we go. We see the Culverus, um, shooting for the next turn. Uh, my opponent won't be able to attack this turn, but the Night Attack can actually chip away at the Dusknor. So, yeah. Um, the Mill Tank will get knocked out. Oh, no, not a Wobbuffet. We do have a Lysander, and we do have an Escape Rope, so... That's always good news there. That way we can still dive and draw. We can still Sinister Hand. Uh, doesn't matter. The Wild Effect can't cancel Dust nor Sinister Hand because that's actually a Psychic Pokemon. We see the Trevenant. And uh, my, the only thing my opponent can do here is either play a Switch or play like a Escape Rope. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. Otherwise, my Miltank will still get knocked out from the Poison Damage. And there's the Dust Call anyways. So... Um, all right, there we go. My Dusknor here on the bench is taking a beating. Uh, I will probably just play the Empoleon right now. All right, so we're going to go with the Empoleon. We'll play this here. We'll play the Muscle Band here. And uh, let's go ahead. We actually can just go for the Culverus here and kind of hope for uh, a basic. Never mind, but hey, we get this. Um... Let's see here. Let's use our abilities. Propagation. 
dive and draw, getting rid of that. Hmm. We do get an opportunity to evolve once again and uh, get another dive and draw going. So propagate, dive and draw, execute. Um, let's get rid of this and let's get rid of an N. Ooh, we get a Mr. Mime. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think that should be able to protect the bench a little bit. Uh, except I think Night Attack just says put, so we'll have to test that. Um, let's go for this one more time. Dive and draw. All right, so right now we're doing 140 damage. So we just got to move this right here. And it's GG, folks. All that for nothing. I totally forgot. My opponent might have forgotten it as well. Um, and there we go. Attack command, 140 damage. Knocking out the Gengar, getting the victory. Sorry about that, my opponent. Sorry about that, Mr. Trainer. 313. I should have just done that from the beginning. So there you go, guys. Empoleon still has it, guys. He still has all the all the tricks in the bag to be competitive what do you guys think of this deck that was pretty exciting that was a lot of fun i enjoyed playing empoleon empoleon is such a great deck uh but with the loss of uh tropical beach it's definitely slowed down quite a bit but i think empoleon can still be a reckon a force to be reckoned with so let me know in the comments below what kind of decks you guys want to see me play and uh, see me build uh, see my take on your deck ideas or you could give me an entire list and I'll build it off of that and, and play test it So I don't know um, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do uh, And uh, yeah, I'll have some more Pokemon TCG videos for you guys soon. You guys have a good day. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Bye